Good morning, everyone. Happy weekend. It is 4.45 in the morning. I've been up since about four. I have fresh biscotti going for Steven in the oven. I'll link the recipe I use. It's just an online basic recipe that I like add stuff to. Today I add slivered almonds and almond extract, but making biscotti, just cleaning up the mess that I made making it. Have a cup of coffee going. I'm going to whip up myself a smoothie. Yeah, it's been a very quiet start to the day. This is what I love, is just being able to get up and bake and like have this relaxing start. So that's what's happening. We're gonna get into a couple different things today and of course catch up with Maple and Bubba's. But one thing I'm going to talk about and share that I'm so lucky um, to have sent to me is this. So I'm sure you've seen them everywhere, but the caraway pans were sent to me as a gift and they just want me to try them out and tell you what I've been thinking. So we're going to talk about them in detail. I've been using them for a week now and I'm telling you, I love this little holder. This comes with your set, but I've been very, very impressed. They're ceramic pans, so a non-toxic way of having non-stick pans. I've made eggs in them. We're gonna make an egg today later, but very impressed. But we're gonna talk a lot more about these coming up. Right now my priority is getting something in my stomach so I can get a good workout in today. So I'm just gonna whip up a smoothie, have some coffee, and chill. Friends, I am sticking with that same smoothie I made earlier in the week. It's just some banana, some frozen strawberries, some spinach, my protein powder of choice, which is called Tone It Up. It's plant-based, non-GMO. About a tablespoon of PB2. Splash of almond extract. Water. Put it on. I need to give it a shake. Pop it on my blender, which this, like I said, I, link, I linked this in a previous video because I really love this blender. I know my smoothie looks like swamp water, but I promise you, it is very good. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this, have a cup of coffee, and then we'll catch up. The biscotti are done. I just took them out of the oven. They look perfect. I like them just slightly brown. So, excellent. Here is my recommendation. After the first bake, when they're still all together, when you go to cut them, use a bench scraper to cut them because it, you can distribute your weight more evenly. I have found when I try to cut them with a knife, A, that's not always as straight as I want it to be, plus they tend to crack because the weight distribution isn't even, but I never ever have that problem when I use a bench scraper to cut them. So these are cooling, they are done. Oops, I left the light on. Yeah, it's a good start to the day. This was my finished biscotti. I'm telling you what, I've been very impressed with how fresh this glass dome keeps things. Very, very happy with it. Now, doggy update. Mabel loves laying in that corner where her dog dishes are. It's like one of her favorite spaces. She is already growing. She's already feeling out. We love her so much. Yes, we do. She's still smaller because she's only five months old. So eventually we're going to have to get the larger bed, but this is the most beautiful dog bed we have found. So this is a actual wood base that the mattress fits down in, and then it has a tufted pillow that snaps into place. So you can take it all apart and wash it. Um, it's from Pottery Barn, super fast delivery too. She is still doing <laughs> her game of carrying toys. So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if you go into Steven's office, we have all these toys on earth too. She cannot keep toys in the box. It's quite funny, but we love her anyway. Bubby is doing so good with his sister. So, so good. Yes. 
but everyone is super, super sleepy. Tonight for dinner, we're actually hosting two of Steven's law interns who have been working with him over the summer. So we are going to have them over for dinner because Steven just wants to like do something special for them. So I made him a grocery list. He's going to go get the groceries because I'm going to do all the preparing of food. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna enjoy like a very nice night with them and I'm going to catch you up on all the caraway pans. I need to get a workout in so that I can like officially start my day. Speaking of workouts, <laughs> pardon that I have shoes everywhere right now, but my tread is here. It's actually perfect, perfect space because I still have a ton of room in the back to do my boot camps. That's what I'm actually going to do today. I also have my Sonus speaker hooked up, so days where I just want to run on my treadmill and listen to my own music. I can, but I'm really, really happy with it. And the fact that like my bike is here and I can do my bike workouts, it's the perfect setup and use of the space. I'm going to make some lunch, but before I do, I wanna cut away to unboxing my caraway pans because I think the packaging was stellar. So let's cut to that. It is the beginning of the week and caraway was so generous and they reached out to me asking me if I would be interested in trying out their pans. I have seen them all over social media and you all know that I love to cook. So I thought that this would be a great, great pairing. We have to unbox them first. So I received my package and here is what they sent me. And what's great is I'm going to work with the pans this week and then be able to really talk through them, the care process, all of those things. So the first box says you're one step closer to cleaner cooking. With Caraway, they are non-stick pans, but they are completely ceramic. So there are different care instructions that we're definitely going to go over. However, I'm super excited about a non-toxic version of non-stick pans. Let's see what's in the first box. When you're ordering higher-end pots and pans, this is what I very much expect as far as packaging and how they are delivered to me. Caraway supplies these hooks for the inside of your cabinet door to hang your pots and pans so they give you this really nice canvas. It's very thick. I will tell you right off the bat, I can feel the quality of these lids. They're very heavy. I don't know, friends, if I will necessarily hang them because as you guys know, I have a lot of cabinet space. That's not something I struggle with. So I think if you do struggle with cabinet space, you would definitely might want to hang them. I love, I love the color. I really, really love the color. I currently use La Creuset and All Clad, which are very, very high-end pots and pans. And I can tell you, packaging and weight, very, very, very comparable. So, I love, I love the color. All right, that is box number one. Now we have box number two. This is what healthy cookware looks like at last. It's beautiful. So, meet your pan racks. Look under each pan to find its own storage rack for safekeeping. Well, that, I will say, what you're not going to get, this must be like a care. Instructions. We'll look at that in a minute. I will tell you that is a very nice addition. Being able to stack them vertically is a game changer, especially if you're struggling with space. I would say heavier than my all clad and comparable to the weight of my La Creuset, which is awesome. I love a heavy pot. I find that a heavier pot conducts heat so much better. If you live in an apartment or you're just starting out, this is all you need for cooking. This will get the job done in your kitchen. If I think about the things I use the most, these are the four pans I would tell you that you need to have. So that's awesome.
And like I said, most sets of hands are not giving you storage solutions as well. So totally appreciate it. They're packaged beautifully. So they're going to get to you in flawless condition. Really impressed. Comes with a little book. This will be my nighttime reading material so I can learn all about the pans before I start using them. My goal then is to use them throughout this week for some mills and then really talk to you about my final thoughts. These pans, there's a couple things you need to know about them. You never just want it empty and on your burner because it can damage it. Also, before you wash it, you wanna let it cool down. Ceramic is very different than those Teflon pans or even my La Creuset. It's a different um, material, so it requires a little different care. I'm not putting mine in the dishwasher. The nonstick is so good that I have simply just been hand washing them because it just is easier. But they are just stellar, stellar pans, especially like if you cook things like eggs all the time, you barely have to use anything. The other thing you want to remember is you shouldn't be using cooking spray in these. So stick with olive oil or butter, which is essentially all that I use anyway. So I'm going to get some butter in my pan. Have my butter all melted. Also because these are ceramic, it's not like my La Crusade that took some time to get seasoned or cast iron. They are ready to go immediately. The other thing, because, because ceramic conducts heat so much better. You should never really be using it on like a really, really high heat. I keep it low medium, sometimes medium. So that is something important to remember. Oh, my fridge is beeping. You can honestly see how good it is already conducting the heat, but watch this. Let's get up close so you can see. Look at this. There is just no sticking. It's really nice for making omelets. Just look at that. Isn't that stellar? But this is on a very low setting and it is just cooking this egg perfectly. I'm just trying to get it to the size of my bread. I'm going to maybe sprinkle a little cheese, but first I need to season it with a little salt and pepper. I just need you to see this because how many pans just, I mean, I love this thing. It is my new favorite. And you guys know I have used really high-end cookware. So for me to recommend something, it's really good. If you live in an apartment and ha or have like a small amount of space, these four are really all you need. I can't say enough about them. I'm so appreciative that they reached out to me. But I have a discount code and a link down below for you. I mean, my eggs are done. I'm gonna take them off the heat. I will also say, my eggs are cooking way faster because this conducts heat so well. Caraway pans get a like chef's kiss from me. Just some proof to how well the caraway pans conduct heat. I realized after I pulled my eggs off the heat that I just wanted to wilt a little bit of spinach to put at the base of my toast. So I just threw a handful in there, scooted it around to get some of the butter on it and walked away. And this is what I came back to. Not on the burner, didn't have to watch it. This feels a little bit like my chopper, something I'm going to have for years and recommend a lot because I'm obsessed with these. Obsessed. This week cooking has been so much fun with them. I just need to get a shot assembling this because I have always seen this on TV, but my pans have never done this. Like the eggs just sliding off. I'm gonna add my spinach on first. And then I'm just going to top it with my egg. I mean, look at that. It's amazing. Feeling just real simple today. So I'm just going to top this with a little bit of Tabasco sauce. I didn't even add any cheese. And that's my lunch. Sometimes the simplest things are the most delicious. Bon appetit. It is going on eight o'clock. We just said goodbye to his interns and I changed into some comfortable clothes. It was a really nice night. I made a chicken caprese in this skillet. Basically halves of tomatoes, um, some roasted chicken breasts, balsamic, 
cook it down, thicken it up, broil it with some mozzarella on top, like good mozzarella, and then toast up some bread, and then we had a salad and vanilla cake and ice cream. It was like a really nice night, and I was glad to do it for Steven and them. They were pretty well behaved with company, I will say. Little Miss Mabel, probably a little bit better behaved than Mr. Bubba's. Mr. Bubba's tends to want all the attention, want all the food, want all the things. But it was overall a really good night. Successful? Yes, except for Bubba's, who wouldn't stop barking. I just was talking about how Mabel was better behaved than she him. She was. She was much better behaved. Oh, how was dinner? It was excellent. Thank you. Oh, what a night, what a night. I am actually going to vlog a couple more days this coming week. Um, I'm not setting any routine, but probably Monday and at least one to two other videos this week, along with a favorites video coming up. But I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the caraway pans. I'm telling you for me to recommend them, I have to really like them and I love them. All the information is down below and I'm gonna sign off like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be sooner than you think. Bye-bye.